guys. guys. Made it through the summer without having to do too many cricket missions. And looking a fraction happier as well. I think today is good news because it, it shows the steps that football is taking to tackle homophobia in sport and things like that. Um, and it just it, it helps to show that you know there isn't a place for homophobia in football. And being part of being, actually being affiliated properly with a professional team is a great step for that. You know, there have been polls where it's like eight percent of people have said they wouldn't support their team if they had a gay player. I mean, those sort of things are you know, absurd. And that's part of this is to hopefully you know in, you know progress with those those ideas and make people realise there is no place for that in school. I mean a lot of a lot of people think it's a joke and you know something that's happily happily thrown around but um, it happens to me a lot on the football pitch, outside of the football pitch as well. Um, but luckily enough I'm I'm one to just sort of shrug it off. Um, but so certain people are not, I think that's why this, this team is definitely needed this sort of league as well, the league we play in. It is incredible, you know, Charlton have taken the first step. They are the first team in this country to offer LGBT football to anyone. Anyone who wants to come along, you know, any skill level. With the Charlton Trust, we're bringing LGBT football to South East London. Hopefully, it will give the support for those players that up until now have not felt able to do so, to now come out of the closet. If you don't represent women in politics,